So hi guys, in this video I'll be telling you how to install Pixel UI 5.3 in my 11x Redmi K40 the Poco F3. So the prerequisites are, you need to have an unlocked bootloader, you need to save on an MIUI ROM but that's not mandatory and you need to remove your Google accounts, you need to remove your MI account if you are on an MIUI ROM and remove your password and security. Once all of them are done, you need to be having these three files in your internal storage the Pixel UI 5.3 ROM zip, the firmware part of your firmware part and the TWRP image latest one. Once you have all of them, reboot your phone into recovery by uh, pressing the power up button once you reboot. Once your TWRP has booted, head into wipe, advanced wipe, select your Dalai card cache and swipe to wipe. Once that is done, go to home, install and then select your firmware part first if you are in a different ROM you, are, you have to flash this so do not check anything else this is fine to come to flash so once your firmware is installed go to home go to install and select your ROM zip and then check automatically uh, reflash WRP after flashing a ROM and swipe to confirm flash So once the image has been flashed, check for errors. The step 1 and step 2 is successfully, successfully flashed and the TWRP has also been successfully flashed and the fail to mount errors can be ignored. And now head into wipe, format data, type in yes. Once the data has been formatted, you can reboot into system. So once your ROM is booted, we can do the initial setup. So our ROM is booted. Well, this is how the Pixel UI 5.3 looks like. And this is how the settings app look like looks like. And let's head into the device options. And the Android version is 13. Well, the kernel version they're using is MNCTX kernel. And this update was released on February 24th, that was the day before yesterday. And the opening and closing is pretty smooth. And well the well these looks good. The animation looks good. The way it comes and the way it goes, the animation looks good. And let me just show you the performance of this ROM. So we also have the Dolby Atmos pre-installed in this ROM which is pretty good. So we can be using this and there's no problem for Dolby Atmos. And now let's have a quick Geekbench test. So well, the results are pretty decent. And the results may be less because my phone is at a 20% charge. So. This is pretty good for my 11x. The single core is 951, it's pretty good. And the multi core is 2859, which is also good. And let me show you the CPU throttle test right now. So, this is pretty good. These falls are because the performance might be a little low when your ROM is installed. It might take two to three days for your kernel to adjust with your ROM. So, if you test your ROM, Immediately after it's installed, the performance may be a bit less. So this is also pretty good. And here's a smooth sliding here. The sliding is pretty smooth. And you have to flash G apps, I guess. Some apps are in there. And we have pretty good widgets. We have the weather widgets settings and mini apps 
and these widgets look pretty cool so if this video helped you on how to install uh, pixel ui plus 5.3 in my 11x please like share and subscribe